Oh, what a day. Aloha, friends and family. Top of the morning to you wonderful, beautiful people. As the title suggests, this is the most tragic clutch we've had here at Triple B since our very first clutch that we've had. So we are likely going to be showing you some images of snakes that have passed away. If that's something that bothers you, if that's something that troubles you, just turn the video off now. If you keep watching, you can't handle it. That, that was your warning. I had to drop my recording device. Here, let's make this happen. Still recording though. I don't know which way. I forgot which way was up. Oh. Oh, was that that way? Right. Uh, that definitely, way is definitely up. that way. Okay. All right. I've, I've, really, I've so consumed with death today that I totally forgot to introduce my buddy here, who you should probably know if you watch the channel, Mr. Travis Johnson, Living Likely as Reptiles. This is a joint pairing between the two of us, his male, my female. Even more fun to get to share something like this with a friend. <laughs> share your misfortunes. So we had two boxes from the same clutch. It's, it was uh, 18 good eggs when they first came out. You had zero slugs and 18 what were good eggs. A couple of them started to discolor. Like you can see this one here. Yeah, I didn't even cut it open. It's I just I know this one's toast. Yeah, like, that's toast. And then, anytime you you see eggs turn green or they start sweating, um, that that egg is that embryo is dead. I mean, for a science project, you can open it up and. So this guy. Okay, so this is. It like was trying to go full term, but it it didn't. It's green. It got really kinked. Got super kinked. This one is all wacky kinked. So he, unfortunately that happens. I mean, the, it could have been just an, a development issue. And then once it came time, see how this egg isn't green? Yeah. I mean, so it went full term uh, theoretically because inside the egg, it's still, there's no problem with that being alive but then it's time to hatch. Um, you know, they have to start breathing on their own at a certain point, and so they literally can drown inside the egg. This one just looks, this more one than is likely so is crazily basically, kinked. Yeah, but I mean, obviously in, in his condition, there was no way he was gonna push and looking out. And to see where his belly is, it kind of started going green. Yeah, and he's starting to turn green. So he's probably been gone for, you know, a couple days. Uh, I mean. The other thing is we, we got one, egg that we had one snake come out like earlier than the rest of them very runty like didn't hadn't absorbed all the yolk like his umbilical right. was a bit twisted um my my guess is like that it was a, it got a little too hot at some point in there that's my guess i don't know it's for possible. sure i mean i've used that incubator for everything i've hashed ever and had other than the first clutch it was had nothing to do with the incubator it had to do with not getting enough humidity inside the tub uh, every clutch since then i've had almost 100 percent you know, with a Hatch couple, rate. a couple of mishaps here and there, but nothing like this. Right. Nothing like this. It, it could have been uh, a temperature spike. It could have been just a development issue. That, I mean, um, you know, uh, I mean, it'll be curious to see if this one's kinked as well. Oh yeah. See. So it's well, st still got a whole bunch of yolk attached to it. Yeah. And and I mean, now I've hatched. Uh, animals that have that have had this kind of kinking, and unfortunately, we have to euthanize them. I mean, um, uh, there is a nice solid egg tooth on the end of that. They're oh, like, yeah. there's a, a nice sharp egg tooth there. So it's not like it couldn't get out of the egg or something. I mean, well, obviously but, it couldn't get out of the egg, but not because yeah, of the egg just tooth. Just a yeah, just a real bad kinking situation. I'm willing to bet the rest of them that didn't come out are going to have that same kinking thing going yeah. on. That'd be my guess. Which could be a temperature spike or, um, Ooh, you know, this one is just gushy, nasty. Ugh. Same thing. I'm going to wash my hands before we pull out the other snake. Yeah, this yeah. thing's all super kinked up. Super kinked up. Yeah, I've, I've had, um, I've had one, uh, one other clutch, uh, jungle carpets, um, that. The whole clutch was like that and it was incubated in the same incubator as i incubate all my other carpet eggs i had eggs hatching <clears throat> excuse me um i yeah, think it's just right next good. uh you know in the tub right next to them and um for whatever reason um you know they were all kinked and messed up and 
that all the others hatched out fine. I think I had a 100% uh, hatch rate throughout the uh, other clutches of that year. So it's... It's one of those things, right? It's one like of those things Like life and that, death. Yeah. It's, uh, unfortunately, it's just something that happens. I mean, the fact that this egg here is that green, um, um, I can assure you, you don't want to cut that open. Yeah, I'm not I even, mean, yeah, I'm not going to cut that that's open. It's gonna, just going to smell really bad. That's going to just smell really bad, and it's going to be mostly, you know, goo. I mean, um, yeah. yeah, see how it's sweating and green? Um, that's, we'll have to stop the video if you cut that away. <laughs> <laughs> let's move on to the, let's move, let's move on to the survivors. How about that? Today, I also happened to lose a snake in shipping, which doesn't happen very often for me either. So it's just been kind of a rough, I mean, as much as like the, the death side of it, which is part of it, right? Like if you can't handle death and working with animals or working with anything living is not yeah. for you because it's 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 gonna happen yeah it's gonna happen and as breeders it's it's the side of this business or hobby that uh people don't talk about that much but it happens and you have to deal with it um unfortunately and as the more you breed the more the likelihood of you encountering such a thing i mean I've hatched out a lot of animals, unfortunately, that, you know, had to be euthanized or they didn't, you know, hatch out because they were, you know, you know, when, you know, something developmentally, you know, had been messed up. It comes with the, the territory. I mean, if you can't handle this potentially happening, it, you can't. You can't do this as a hobby. Don't breed. Keep just keep pets. I mean, um, even then, and even yeah, pets and even pass away. yeah, even eventually, you know, pets can pass away. I'll tell Man. you, it did, it did give me an appreciation for like life when I was dri just driving down the highway this morning, like just going on a little errand. I was like, man, thankful. Look, I can do this. I'm alive. Like, yeah. Give me more appreciation just for life, just ex having to experience like yeah. some of the death that's happening. I was like. At least I'm here, like doing this thing now, you yeah. know. Getting... And and it makes every one you hatch out even more, you know, that special for you. And lots one of, the, of cool the, striping. Here's the. This is the first one to come out. The little runty guy. Little runty guy. I'm, yeah, I'm he thinking. Just didn't absorb enough yolk. Right. I'm thinking this might be the one that recommend that Noah maybe try. Maybe I, this isn't, shouldn't be Noah's first snake. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'll let him choose. Yeah, I'll let him choose. I mean, but I, weirdly, he was the first one out. Yeah, which is that was usually weird thing. like like he was er, way like by by at least almost a day he was the first one out or she we'll find out he he oh. <laughs> ep pp do you want to um you want to film with that other camera last time we did this I was getting bit yeah. to crap these ones seem like they'd be a little bit more chill I guess the nice thing is that these ones were the super strong ones to come out right yeah hopefully they're not all male. I was gonna say they're all males. Right? Oh man. Oh, my oh boy. That's we're three for three on boys, bud. I'm almost halfway there and it's boy life. That's right. I think a lot of these are gonna end up as pets anyway. I've got a very long list, so anything that you know doesn't come my way, that's a, he's already shooting his male maleness out yeah, without being we, probed. We had that last year, the uh look at that. Oh boy. Oh yeah. I didn't even have to puff. Oh, oh. there's the first bite. <laughs> I flinched a little bit. It's habit. There's a lot of boys. <laughs> Hopefully it's not all the girls that didn't make it out because they were too genetically weak. <laughs> okay, oh. I'm getting canceled. That's a boy. Look, that's a boy. Dude, I didn't, oh, you yeah, yeah. like I'm not even having to pop it? Yeah, we had that same thing. Uh, um... We had that same thing last time. It was like they were just all flexing yeah, on me. Yeah, they were just all flexing on you, dude. That's all boys so far. Holy crap, dude! I, we need at least two girls, dude. Come on. It's it's rare to get female heavy. Oh, oh gosh, boy. dude. The uh, it's rare to get female heavy clutches. I mean, uh, hey, whoa, 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 jeez. Whoa, 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 easy, take it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they're getting. They're like, oh, there's. <laughs> It's a sausage fest in there. Well, it might have been a, it's a sausage fest in here, too. Come on, girl. Don't flex on me. Don't flex on me. Oh, I'm feeling girl. I'm feeling girl. Bah! <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, 
Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, we still have three uh, three possibilities. Oh, my gosh. We're making moves. They're making moves. Oh, wow. They're just waiting. Dude, the stripe on this one is just incredible. Dude. Ow! Oh, there we go. Gosh, that one was vicious. Of course, I didn't get it on camera. <laughs> He's like, I'm the last survivor. I gotta put up a good fight. Fight's doing. Good looking Matrix. Got, got yeah, a funny dude. looking face, actually. Check out the. Uh, oh, yeah, whoa, like, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, we easy. got a squirter. Oh, that's a boy, too. I can tell. Look at the <laughs> look here. at the face, though. Look at the face. It's like, we got this weird twisted. Oh, oh it's he, only one oh, eye. Oh, and he only has an one eye. eye. So, yeah, there was some serious uh, development issues yeah. going on in this clutch, dude. One he eye. He has one eye. One eye Willie, we'll call him. Maybe that'll be Noah's first snake. He might be interested in that. He has he has his right eye, though? Yeah. Uh, it's... Yeah? Oh, yeah. He's missing one whole eye. That's my first one-eyed snake. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely getting canceled. <laughs> oh, yeah. Very, a very not yeah. well-endowed, if it is. It's, you got no, the you red know. there. I think that's the one female. That might be a girl. Oh, Lord. Pop it one more time. Females do have um, hemipenial homologs. So, you know, in bloods, they can be a little more tricky. Hmm. I mean, it's not yeah. popping out anywhere near I'd like say, the other ones. I'd say that's a girl. That very, very well may be a girl. We only got one girl, Noah. Ah. I know you wanted a girl. Yeah, I did. We'll come beat Travis up. <laughs> <laughs> well, by, by, I mean, by the way we do our breeding, you get that one automatically. Oh, well, it, well, Noah, this is your, this is your yeah. girl, bud. Okay. I just do want to point out though, that I'm still is she him up. doing neurological stuff? Yeah, there's some. There's definitely some interesting head stuff going on. Yeah. Like what? She's just That's uh, not normal. No, it's not. So what we had some not? major issues with this clutch. There's a possibility this girl might not thrive. That she might go for a little bit and then maybe she eat. She might not even. She eat. might. She I might mean, not. You never know. You know, we don't know how she's gonna do. It's not the strongest candidate. She is the only girl. Um, if you want to take the responsibility for this animal, I'm, I will. I will let you make that decision. Well, I want it to be sure that it will make it. Okay. All right. Well, we'll you know what? We'll we'll pick ours and then we'll, we'll uh, me and Travis will split it up and then you can decide which one you really want to take care of for after. Okay. okay. All right. Well, there, I'll come. there is a really cool one eye one. Though. Yeah. Which one? It's a one, one eye really. He's got one eye, but he'll probably do fine even with the one eye. That could be a cool one. It's very that could different. Be a cool one. But well, uh, we'll let, we'll decide afterwards. Okay, we'll do we'll do another video with just you and me. All right. Okay. It's very hot in here. All right, folks. Well, Tra Travis and I are gonna um, split up this clutch, and then we'll keep you posted on kind of how they're doing. I personally, I don't let go of any animals until they had their first shed, which is gonna be like six months or something. So, we'll. Whatever animal you end up getting, if you're on the list from this clutch, uh, it's going to be one that does really well because it's going to be living and thriving for a long time before you get it. So we'll go from there. Thank you, Travis, for being cool. We're, actually, I'm going to have Travis on Triple B TV this week. He doesn't know it yet, but I'm inviting him right now with a forced invite. <laughs> so I can't we, say no now. I'm, gonna be, <laughs> I'm on candid camera. <laughs> We're going to do a... Our, uh, talk about a subject which is breeder loans and why not to or why to sure hey bud we're recording a video over here <laughs> sure. i thought well, it'd be a good topic for the two yeah. of us to discuss yeah yeah absolutely yeah. absolutely right. i've done multiple breeding loans and um it's a good topic it's something that we definitely should talk about because unfortunately it gets done more often than i mean than you think and then uh and a lot of the time poorly i mean right. so i think probably the majority of the time poorly yeah um so all right well you guys take care of yourselves take care of each other thank you for tuning in and uh witnessing the success and failure of this clutch and we'll see you on the next video y'all take care aloha